What's up, YouTubers? Today we're going to be installing the head gasket on the 3 uh, SFB 97 Rob 4. I went ahead and got a Felpro gasket. It's got a one year warranty. But uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to torque down the head, which is down here. I've got the intake manifold on it. But uh, I'm going to be doing some instructions on how to torque it down. Alright. Alright, so I went ahead and prepped the surface. Go ahead and uh, clean it with some carb cleaner, brake cleaner, alcohol, degreaser, anything. Get the surface really clean. Drop the gasket on and then we'll lift the head with the manifold on. Alright, go ahead and take uh, your head bolts and before installing them you want to run some uh, clean oil on them. Just put some clean oil on the threads. You now just a light coat. That'll just help them go in nice and easy and not uh, ease up or anything. Wipe them on them before you put them in. Alright, so here's the head bolt uh, sequence. This is the order that you're going to want to um, torque them in. So in the middle, one, then bottom two, then right three, then left four, then five, then six, then seven in the corner, eight, nine, and ten. And then we're going to do it in three passes. The torque on this engine is uh, 47 uh, foot-pounds, so we're going to do three passes. First one will be around 16, the next one around 32, and then the last one around 47. Alright, so go ahead and drop in your head bolts first. Just hand thread them in. Just snug them all up by hand, you know. And then we'll start the torque sequence. Alright, so I got my torque wrench set to about 16. Uh, I'm going to run through the pa first pass, so we're going to start uh, in the middle towards the back. Do 16. Alright, now I got this uh, digital torque of adapter and I'm going to use it on the 32. Or 32. So we start uh, the back. Number one. That one's done. Alright, the final torque spec is 47. So we'll go ahead and do the same sequence down to 47 and that's it. And we're starting the middle on the back. Alright, 
so I got them all torqued down. Took some doing on that last 47 pound one, but uh, if you got a digital uh, digital torque um, torque wrench, it makes it a little easier doing it. You could even, uh, if you got one of these adapters, you could put it on like a cheater bar or something. Give yourself some more leverage. But uh, after you uh, got those head bolts in, put the cams back on, uh, put the timing belt on, and uh, you know, button everything else up, and you'll be good to go. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you liked it. Thanks.